The next step is now going to be to make sure you've got a recent version of Python installed on your system. Now this is one step that I'm not going to give you explicit instructions for because it does vary from platform to platform. I'm using a Mac, but if you're using Windows, you can probably install Python just by opening the Windows console and typing Python. And then you just have to click through to confirm the whole process. If you're using a different platform, then you probably will need to go to python.org and download the latest version and install it from here. Your aim is to get to a point where you can open a console on your system. So here's the terminal program for Mac and you can type some command that will invoke Python and hyphen hyphen version and it comes back with a reasonably recent version of Python. Now you can see here, if I do this on my Mac, I get an old version of Python. Python at the moment is up to version 3.11 and throughout most of this course I'm using Python 3.10. But if I type here Python 3 hyphen hyphen version, I do get the right version of Python. So you need to be able to type some kind of Python command. You might have to even include a whole directory string in there and then put hyphen hyphen version after it. And you want to see that you've got the latest version of Python running and installed. And how you go about that will depend on your platform. But there are plenty of instructions available. So if you search for install Python, three, let's say, Windows, then you're going to find instructions for it pretty easily and the same for Mac and the same for Linux. You've just got to be able to invoke it like this from the console, even if you end up having to type some long string to specify exactly where the Python has installed to. That's fine. We're going to fix that later, but you've got to be able to run the latest version of Python that you've installed from some kind of console on your system, from the Windows console, the Mac terminal, whatever you use on Linux and so on. So I'm assuming a certain level of computer knowledge here to the extent that you need to be able to find a console on your system and figure out how to install things and so on. But even if you're relatively new, to using a computer, which you're probably not, you will be able to figure this out. It's just, it may take a little bit of persistence to get to this point. And once you've done it, I can guide you through most of the rest of the stuff that you're going to need to do. This is a free video from my course, Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides, then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.